We are here at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure and we have reservations for cowfish. Joe's been wanting to try cowfish for quite a while. He's a burger guy. I'm not necessarily all about burgers, but they got so much on their menu, I can find something. But we are heading to cowfish. We are getting in a little early. Our reservations was like 7.30. We walked up to, to see if we could possibly get in a little bit early and they asked us if we'd be willing to sit in the balcony area and it's they've got the screens down so it's not going to be like blistery hot and we said yeah thank you where do you go joe's huffing joe's being a little bitch all right let's do this we're in here at cowfish we actually had reservations for 7 30 in the evening but I'm tired and hangry. So between the two, we just decided to go ahead. We checked with guest services, but they said that they couldn't get us in any earlier. It was going to be a lot later. So we just decided we'd go ahead and stop as we walked on by. And if we couldn't get in earlier, we were going to hop a boat and go for a ride or something just to kind of kill some time. But they said, well, we've got some seat up on the patio if you want that. Well, then we come up here and I said, it's really hot. I don't want to be sitting on the patio. And so they said, we actually have a table for you. So they seated us right away. We're here like two hours early. And I know that's just kind of a crap shoot. Don't know if that's ever going to happen again or whatever. But we were thrilled that it happened this time. And Joe is getting the what? The big squeal? Gary's getting the flying Hawaiian chicken sandwich. Joe says try the sweet chili sauce. I love sweet chili sauce. Alright, so we got some calamari here. Focus, focus. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. Super good, man. Mm. This is our first time at Cowfish, so we really didn't know exactly what to expect anyway. But so far, this is a big thumbs up just because the service is so good that they went out of their way to seat us even though we're way too early. And I just think that's pretty awesome. But as soon as the food gets here, we'll go ahead and check it out. What do you think of that calamari? Best calamari ever. Very, I think so, very too. fresh. There wasn't anything rubbery about it. They used fresh cooking oil, like the little chopped chives on the top. But uh, that, that, but that sweet chili sauce yeah. on on the plate on the calamari for a dip. Oh my God! Probably the best one ever. Yeah, that sweet chili sauce is amazing. That was the best calamari ever. I don't know why we haven't tried cowfish. I think for the longest time I just thought it was just burgers and sushi, which it kind of kind of is. But there's other stuff on the menu too. But it always has a really long wait to get in, or it's difficult to get reservations. So we actually booked this reservation days and days and days ago just to make sure that we could get in because that was something that was on Joe's wish list and I didn't want to not make it happen. So I'm so looking forward to this food coming, that calamari. Oh my god, that was so good. I'm going to give you kind of a look around here in a second. We got that cool Britain fish aquarium on the wall. It goes all the way up and down the wall there. That's pretty cool.
shouldn't be. That may go back.
I was not going to pass up the creme brulee, though. I mean, I could be like in a food coma and somebody say creme brulee, I'm going to pop out of it right now and have some. So I'm going to have my creme brulee yes, right now. The, the final bill here at Couchfish was seventy-seven forty-six, And that was drinks, calamari, and all of our supper. So, um, not really too bad. Not the greatest price that we've had. But the food was pretty good. Yeah. Joe loved his burger. I love my salad. Gary loved his sandwich after they took it back and gave him a different one. Because the first one was literally burnt black. To me, that should have never left the kitchen like that. And it's kind of insulting that they would think that somebody's going to pay for a high-end meal and have their meal burnt. They should have never left the kitchen. So I'm kind of bothered by that. But anyhow, 77, what? 7746. And of course, that's after our annual pass holder discount. And then of course, we put a tip on top of that. But that was the final bill after our annual pass holder discount. So, something to keep in mind for you. If you are new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe and ring bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest. Also, please don't forget to check out some of our other great videos we have on the parks, the rides, resorts, resort rooms, Skyliner rides, day trips, car shows, outdoor pizza oven videos, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Disney World. Thank you so much for watching.